down. I don't know. Canada's like really far. There we go. Look at it. It's fucking working. It's way, way better now. We've came a long way from a grid of cubes that couldn't be scaled or rotated. So, a uh, quick breakdown. Uh, all these blocks were placed with uh, a third-party program. That third-party program, me and Josh have been working on since the last video where we made a bunch of grids. A grid of cubes. And now we have rotation and scaling support. Uh, we could have had it... This could have been done way sooner. Like, way, way sooner. We could have... I could have had this video out a week ago, but... We've been working on some stuff to make our lives easier, and I've been lazy. Um... But this is the next step into having the Blender tools actually work and being able to forge in Blender. So, look how beautiful it is. It's great. And the great thing, unlike the, unlike the last video, unlike the last time we did this, the object properties actually work. You can come in here and like change them before it didn't, uh, that we figured out why that wasn't the case or why they didn't work. And we have fixed it. So you can... You, they're, they're normal objects. So the next step is to actually... F uh, I think the Blender tools will work. I just need to... Like, finish... Like, clean some stuff up and finish it. So I'm pretty sure... In, within the next few days to a week... Uh, you'll be able to block out your maps in Blender and import them into Halo Infinite just, you know, kind of like how I've done this here with the random items and stuff. Um, so everything works now. Uh, everything that we've done is actually up on GitHub. I don't... I'll probably put a link somewhere, but... It's great. We've done a lot. A lot has happened since the last stupid-ass grid video. <laughs> 